Hello everyone, my name is Major Calzone, and welcome back to Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Um, I really enjoyed making the last uh, video that I made in this style, where I just kind of live calmed and talked about whatever came to my mind, so um, I decided that uh, I was going to do it again. And uh, obviously I have another topic that I wanted to talk about today, and in fact I'm actually going to cancel the lobby thing. So. What I was thinking about earlier when I was playing and kind of warming up, whatever. I don't know if the Battle Pass is worth it anymore. Now, I know that's not exactly a hot take in the community or gaming as a whole these days because Battle Passes are fucking everywhere. The problem is that I was going through some of my classes and I was, you know, putting things together and doing stuff, whatever. And I realized that pretty much every weapon that I'm using... I'm using a blueprint for, or a base variant that I've just put attachments on, right? So like, here you can see my one class here with the XM4, I'm using the Western Wall, which is a blueprint, although I've changed some of the attachments around on it to obviously make it work a little better. And then I got this AK, the Cursed Angel here, which is an ultra, ba um, ultra variant blueprint that, you know, you can see it's changing colors there. Uh, the auto-tune, the FFAR setup, the anime one that I was using in my, my last video. The grav, I don't have any blueprints for, so I obviously have to just use the base variant. Uh, the 74U, I'm using the little comrade. The PPSH, using the default, mostly because the PPSH just looks so good. Man, I love that steel wood grain combo. It's nice. Uh, but then again, the Milano, using the red room, just because... It looks good and the attachments on it are decent. MP5, I'm using the base variant. I don't know. I do have a couple of blueprints, but like I don't I don't like the like open sight, right? Like this front, you can't really see it, but like the front sight, it doesn't have like a closed circle like the default variant does. I like the closed circle, so that's kind of why I'm using the base variant there, but and then again, the M16, the western front and the uh L96, the Grey Matter variant, mostly because I don't have any attachments for this thing and I kind of like how this looks. But that's kind of what I'm getting at, is as far as I can remember, every weapon variant that I'm using in my classes is not from a battle pass. Like, it's all stuff that I've bought in the shop. And I started to, that started to get me thinking about like, okay, well what about like operators? Same thing. Except for uh, Nova. Port Nova. I am... Well... No, I think this was from a Battle Pass. The skin was from a Battle Pass. But again, Maxis, another operator that I'm using that was not in a Battle Pass. So it just... It got me thinking, man. Like... Man. <laughs> Is it really worth it to buy a Battle Pass? Obviously, it kind of depends. Bro, I don't like... Why did... Something feels off. Why does... Why does something feel off in this game right now? It just... It seems too quiet. That's what it is. It seems too quiet. Like, there's not enough going on. What the fuck? I, am I tripping? Am I... I don't know. Okay, whatever. Anyway. So, like I was saying, it depends a lot on what's in the battle pass that really decides, like, if I want to buy it, right? And I think the fault of myself and many people is we look at, like, the top reward first or we, th we consider the top reward to be the reason to buy the battle pass right but if everything else is like mid at best I, I don't really like using that word but you know if it's not great like yeah you're getting some cool like decent looking skins and stuff like that but it's like why even buy the battle pass if you're just gonna buy say an operator pack or an operator skin bundle instead you know, I get that the battle pass is only $10 and a lot of these bundles are like 20 plus, but it's like, okay, you could buy one operator skin that you're probably going to use for most, if not the entirety of the game. Woo! Woo! Or you could pay $10 for a battle pass that you kind of, no, no, not kind of, you have to religiously play the game to get. So it's like, yeah, you can pay $10 and get all these skins and you can even get like the tier 100 skin. That's super cool. But how many hours of the game are you going to have to play to get that tier 100 skin? You know, how many, how many hours are you going to have to waste grinding challenges and, and using double XP tokens and, and double XP weekends and stuff like that? Like, it's kind of like, it's, it's either, okay, 
you can pay $20 up front and get a, a little pack for one operator that has a really cool skin and maybe some cool blueprints. And now we even have weapon vaults in Modern Warfare 2 that are coming up. So are you going to spend $10 to grind your ass off? Or are you going to pay $20 and get something you want that you'll actually use for more than like a week? Or maybe a day? Like, I cannot think of a time that I've used a Battle Pass skin that wasn't the Tier 100 skin after, like, maybe a week at most. I, I guess it really just depends on what kind of person you are. Also, these guys- speaking of who people are, these guys are fucking awful. They are literally just camping up in their house. What the fuck? Guys, it's Nuketown. Move! Like, look at them! They, they're not leaving their property! Well, that guy's sniping, so I guess he kind of has an excuse. But, like, still. Yeah, man, I don't... I don't know. I... I was just thinking about that. About, like... If I... If Call of Duty was the only game I played, right? If Call of Duty was the only game I played, and I didn't play anything else, or have an interest in playing anything else, the Battle Pass would absolutely be worth it. Because for $10, you are getting... A lot of content. It might not be... Good... Or great content, but it's content. It's something to, to, you know, grind for. God damn, bro. The guy is running armor and a fucking hand cannon. Holy shit. I'm gonna burn those motherfuckers. Never mind. Didn't do anything. I don't know why I'm running the napalm streak, bro. It's literally pointless. Well, now they're moving. Okay. I'm not saying these guys are cheating when I say this, just FYI, but I heard, or I found out, uh, I think it was, God, I was watching War Owl's video on Overwatch 2 yesterday, and he was saying that in South Korea, if you cheat at a video game, you literally are, like, banned from online gaming because you have to attach your, like, government ID to your online accounts. And so if you're caught cheating or banned for cheating, you literally just cannot play online games anymore. Dude, that's based as fuck. I love that. I would totally attach my social security number to my gaming account. No, I'm kidding. Not in America. <laughs> if we could do something like that in America, that would be cool. But I, I don't know. I don't know how we could do that, to be honest. But I just thought that was really fucking cool. Like, yeah, if you if you cheat at video games, you literally do not get to play any video games online ever. <laughs> and that just seems incredibly fucking cool to me. Again, not saying these guys in my lobby are cheating or that they're even from, you know, South Korea, but like, I don't know. The thought just popped into my head. I was like, that's pretty cool. I like that. But yeah, man, it just seems kind of, kind of whack to me. Like, especially like when you consider that in recent years, the quality of items in a battle pass has like progressively gotten worse. It's like, why, like, is, is it really, like, is the content you're getting really worth $10? I mean, maybe the tier 100 skin in a battle pass or, like, the top tier reward is worth $10. But, like I was saying before, it's not just the $10 that you're spending up front. It's the $10 plus the, like, 100 hours you have to put in in three months to get that tier 100 skin. You know what I mean? And it's like... Again, if Call of Duty was the only game I was playing, or the only game I was interested in playing, yeah, I would be fucking- I'd be on it like Donkey Kong. I'd be all over it. The problem is, it isn't. I- I play other games, and right now, Call of Duty is really the only game I'm looking forward to playing because Modern Warfare 2 is coming out, but I am also working through Metroid Prime on my GameCube, the original, and by the way, been loving that game. I really would like to make a video on it but I have absolutely no way to capture footage from my GameCube and I don't have the funds to go get it modified or otherwise um, get like a capture card that can capture it. I mean, I could get a capture card that'll capture it, but that'd be like a dazzle. <laughs> a dazzle or something. If any of y'all remember what a dazzle was, man. That, yeah, I, no, I, I don't want to do that. But just as a side note, Metroid Prime, great game. If you get a chance to ever play it, do play it fucking phenomenal but yeah call of duty isn't the only game that i'm playing these days so am i gonna spend ten dollars and so much of my fucking life just to get maybe one or two cool skins no especially considering those very skins might get replaced by the next season 
You know, you get uh, the season one tier 100 skin. Are you gonna get the next one for season two? Well, what happens if the season two skin is cooler than the season one skin? Well, then you've wasted $10 and however many hours of your life. I don't know, man. It just seems to me like battle passes, well, definitely the, I don't want to say budget option because I'm a fucking budget option. While definitely being the cheaper alternative to getting a lot of content, it just it doesn't seem good. It doesn't seem good in the grand scheme of like, I would personally rather pay $20 up front to get one cool skin and a couple of blueprints or a weapon vault as opposed to paying $10 for a bunch of mediocre content and the possibility of getting a really cool skin at the end of, you know, hundreds of hours of grinding. That being said, despite its faults, I do think Halo Infinite has done very well in this regard with how you can buy the, the battle pass for $10 and then you can level that battle pass even after the season is over, right? So, I mean, it's not really a good example because season two right now is lasting almost an entire year. Like, I don't have my battle pass completed for season two, but that's also because I have had no desire to play Halo Infinite. But having paid $10 for that battle pass, if I ever decide that I want to go back to Halo Infinite and play it again, I can still level up my Season 2 Battle Pass and complete it and get all the content that I paid for. Unfortunately, most games aren't doing that, you know? It, it's it's unfortunate that, that it has to be that way and we have to use FOMO. And again, Halo isn't exactly cleared of this because they use FOMO with the shop and with the events and stuff like that. Like, yeah, the events are free and you don't have to pay for any of the content in a event pass. But also, it's only there for six weeks, and after those six weeks, we don't know if they're ever coming back. So if you don't get all the content, I don't know, fucking try again later, I guess. I don't know. You have to pay for armor pieces in the shop, but thankfully the Eagle Strike core is kind of trash, so I don't really want anything for that anyway. You know, that doesn't even consider the, the fact that you can pay for Battle Pass tiers, right? So when you get a new battle pass, you can pay say twenty say you pay twenty five bucks and you get the the extra launch edition or whatever and you maybe start thirty tiers ahead, right? You still have to pay like seventy dollars to complete the battle pass if you don't want to grind it out. So is a battle pass really that cost effective? I mean you don't have to pay for all the tiers, but you're basically saying that the tier one hundred skin is worth a hundred dollars or a hundred hours of your life, which will it be? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. Maybe I'm talking out of my ass, or maybe I'm just talking in circles, but this is just like a thought that's kind of come into my head. I, I don't know if I'm going to get the battle passes for Modern Warfare 2. Like, I might get the Season 1 pass just because there's really going to be no content otherwise, but I don't know if I'm going to get subsequent passes. Unless, of course, they put a specific operator in the battle pass that I really want, then I'll pay for it. Um... I kind of regret not getting the Modern Warfare 1, Modern Warfare 2019, I should say, Season Pass, or uh, Season 4 Battle Pass, because that was the season that had Captain Price, and I, looking back on it, there were a lot of cool skins for him that I really wanted to use, but uh, I didn't buy it, and now I can't get it, so I think Captain Price is going to be a default operator in the new game, considering he's part of the Red Team 141 pack, but like, I don't know if I want to pay like I, I don't know I don't know hopefully he's a default operator so I don't have to worry about that but yeah if they had any like cool operators to the pass I might buy it just to get the base operator then again you know they could put if they put Captain Price in a battle pass they could put him at like tier 100 and then I won't get him unless I pay my way or I play my way you know 100 hours or 100 bucks which will it be <laughs> that kind of that type beat but yeah, guys, that's all I really wanted to talk about today. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments down below your thoughts on this whole thing. Do you think battle passes are still worth it in the current year of 2022? Or do you think that they've been heavily watered down from the OG days of Fortnite and stuff like that? Let me know in the comments down below. Are you going to be buying battle passes or are you going to mostly be spending your money in the shop if you're spending money at all, you know? Maybe you don't want to spend money on the $70 game you paid for, specifically talking about Call of Duty. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say for today. Make sure you take care of yourself, get plenty of rest, drink plenty of water, all that good stuff. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.